Yo. Right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Airbnb clone and react on Scrimba project. Lesson 15, passing props to card component. And I've got an unbelievable treat for all my millions of followers and viewers on the channel today. I've got a special guest. Yes, that's right. You heard it, listeners. <laughs> a special guest. And there he is. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. I've made him big. That's no, Mark. No, no. Mark is a former no. colleague. That, yeah, no, that's expert, true. Expert, back-end developer, expert. Isn't that right, Mark? Yeah, that, that's uh, anybody watching want to hire me. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's available on here for hires, contracts, mercenaries. Uh, very it's terrible, isn't it? The way this world has gone. full-time salaries. The way it's So, yes, yeah, so what... I've told Mark all about Scrimba. Uh, we used to work together in a company. Neither of us knew React, so we thought we'd get on with it, didn't we, Mark? So Mark's been... Yep, let's crack on. Let's learn something, John. That's background. what we said. Yeah. yeah. So Mark's going to be assisting with right. Lesson 15, Props, Pass Props to Card Component. Now, Mark, you've done all this, haven't you? You've been yeah. through the lessons. Yeah, I have. Yeah. I haven't. Yeah. You know what I'm like, though? I'm not doing it properly, John. Yeah. He's just been sk skimming through it. Yeah. I've been studiously going through every lesson. Mm. All right. Whatever. Whatever you say. And you have been doing it much better than me, let's be honest. From a right. professional Without further product. ado, let's stop crapping. Let's get cracking. Get cracking. Over to you, Bob. Okay, we're finally back to our Airbnb experiences clone. Your challenge is to pass these props that I've outlined here into our card component, and then inside of our card component, receive those props and make use of them. As a little bit of a hint and a heads up, there's a couple instances that we're not passing in strings or strings that we are passing in that we need to slightly modify in order for them to work. I guess so that's not too cryptic, the image that we're passing in here, you'll notice is only the title of the image file. It doesn't include any path to the image itself. The astute of you might know that what we're doing here still is requiring us to hard code data into our component. And in the real world, that's not what we're gonna do. However, we haven't quite gotten there yet. In an upcoming lesson very soon, we're going to see a way that this would actually be structured a little more realistically but I wanna get your hands on the keyboard practicing like I always say. So work on this challenge until you can show our card component looking essentially exactly the way it is now, but without the hard-coded data inside of the card itself. Pause here and start on that. Pause. Get our heads back up. Okay, I already know oh. that I'm gonna to have too many problems. Oh. He's off, he's off. Stop him. Relax, Bob. We like Bob, no, though. Rid... He's very calm. Yeah. yeah. What was that word he used before? I keep pulling him up on these uh, unnecessary... Not, not parentheses, is it? <laughs> that's true. Oh, is that, is that, was that one of oh, the first videos yeah. he did, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Everybody who's watching this, what's that? What's that, Mark? Uh, brackets. What are they? Mate. Brackets. Brackets? Yeah. He calls them parentheses. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What do we need to do then? Curly brackets is in brackets. Curly brackets. I'll let him off anyway. I'll let Bob off for that. He knows more than us, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Well, yeah. Oh, he's yeah. doing this, isn't he? So. Right, pass props to the card component. So that's the card component. So we want to get rid of this hard-coded date, don't we? And show the picture of... Katie. Katie Zephyrez. Right. Mark, so tell me how to do a prop. A prop? How I would do tell it. Me type. Well, for yeah. a start, and you're going to just need the uh, the name. So I think. Which uh, is? Uh, well, you can have IMG MG. or image. You can. You can call it anything you want, apparently, can't yeah, you? Yeah. Call it what you want. Equals. Yeah. String. So 
Shall we call it image? Is that too broad a term? <laughs> Avatar? Clash, yeah? Because yeah. then we're going to have the image source in the reference of the image tag, aren't we? Yeah. An avatar. I'm overthinking this. Yeah. That blue person coming December. A person. Avatar, isn't it? Person. Sorry. First prop. See if we can get it working. Well. Yeah, yeah. Why not? <clears throat> So you know right, what Mark. to do with this, yeah. Tell me, tell me tell me how to put the prop in. Now I want you to tell me. Me? Right. Well, yeah. I would put the word props uh passing it into the function. He seems to like props. I don't know if that's actually law, but it seems to work. So props there. And then in the they place the where option of de deconstructing it, didn't they? Where you put Yeah, yeah. Was... Um you can use curly brackets for curly parentheses. Uh, curly brackets, and you can pull out the names. <laughs> I told you I'd let him off. You can put in the names. Was overkill. There. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. then he goes uh, back in himself. He goes back in himself us. towards the end, and he says, "Do you know what? <laughs> just this is a bag of shit." <laughs> <laughs> so I just stuck with what he said. Props dot, and then you can just chuck it in. Yeah. There. So we're getting rid of the hard coded data there, aren't we? Are we getting rid of the quotes? I can't remember. Was it something like... Yeah, you, you don't need the quotes props. because this is a... That's right, dot. Person. Yeah. Should work. So we're exporting it, yeah. Because what does the curly do you know brackets keep... do, John, in JSX? Do you remember that one? Um, it kind of enables JavaScript within the... Yeah, yeah, it does. I'm keeping, right? Yeah, yeah, it does, because I'm trying to keep that in my mind and I'm doing it. I'm going, what did Bob yeah. say? He said curly brackets, and he sort of go into the world of JavaScript, doesn't it? Javis yeah. The world of JavaScript, that was it. it, it yeah. No one ever wants to leave the world of JavaScript. <laughs> Are we confident this is going to... Do you know what I keep doing? No, I it. just keep... Smashing. I keep up. going back to me index. I keep going back to me index file to change the code. It's dead. It's dead to you now, isn't it? The index file. It's dead to us in this world. Yeah. It's just, just. It's, it's a shallow. <laughs> Nothing of what it was. Reactor's <laughs> taken over. Yeah. 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 There is a new, new law. There's a new kid in town. There is. Yeah, and he's called and he... <laughs> React. <laughs> He go by. He goes by the name of React. <laughs> oh, There's a new sheriff in town. New sheriff in town. Right. Let's get. Anyway, let's see if this works. Our first successful um, mm. pair pairing pair coding. This is, so this is pair work. programming, John. Like people talk about. Oh, that's exactly the result you get with pair programming. <laughs> Uh, no, have we missed you, out? Have you we missed out right. the image? Have you not, you pass wrong. I was in the images. Doc. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't well mess done around in, with this. Well, do, well done in spotting my deliberate error. You have oh, You did that it. on purpose. Just to, just to make sure I was paying attention. Hey, there we go. Okay, like Hang on a minute. Where's, where's all this coming from? Hmm? Oh, oh, it's all oh, hard-coded. It's, it's in the stuff before. Uh, yeah. It's hard-coded in here, isn't it? Yeah. I, I reckon... That we should not do that. I want to make it smaller. Right. I think we should get rid of all the um, data and we can see it building up as we go. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's all he's going to do is just shift all that in. Was that, was that a prop? It's got to be, hasn't it? All data is yeah. a prop. Anything that's going to change, it's going to be a prop. Would it be fair to say props are like data? Yeah. The configuration, variables. Once you start to iterate, it will become clear why. Oh, what's it moaning about? Tell you what. Let's just put blank in. Oh, 
fascinating view in this, uh, viewers. Yeah. I don't, you could probably leave that one in, John, the person, the person. I, oh, you are doing right. Mm -hmm. Rolling about. Console unknown error. Probably because there's no image in there, I reckon. That's my bad. Oh, right, yeah. Are you guess. getting a console? That's the con That's the informative uh, error. Mm, yeah, the that's great, that, that isn't it? Yeah. Unknown error. Clear. <laughs> Right, next up. Um, let's get rid of that console. Rating. Is this a string? Well, <laughs> is... yes, uh, it does comment that you can't, uh, if you don't want to pass strings, slightly different way of doing it for like numbers and stuff. This, but I think for this example. This is, a, this is a string though, isn't it? Yeah. It just passed strings yeah. for now. And it says, well, yeah. it's got a little string hint there, hasn't it? What we're calling this then? Rating. Two rating. Five point zero. Ah, we've not wired it in, have we? Should we do all the props first? Whichever's the easiest. Yeah. View count. Now, this can't be a string, can it? Is it camel? Is it camel casing props? Yeah, like that. Well, I do anyway. It's it's the other casing is just for the functions, uh, in his eyes anyway. So yeah. Um, now nah, right. I seem to remember so, this. This is squiggle six. Uh, sorry, curly brackets. I mean that's how you pass yeah. it, but um, has been a bit. So that's been passed as a number data type, is it? Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Although uh, numbers under JavaScript are funky, but anyway, yes. Country, whatever you like. What? What? Yeah. String? String? Yes, Glamour is a string. If in doubt, string Not for now. It's only to prove a point anyway, this, isn't it? Yeah. So. Not United Kingdom. Forest. Oh. Probably straightforward all this, isn't it? Yeah. That's why I said they cheated a little bit on some of these. Price. Get Number type paper. again, yeah. So squ squiggly brackets. Yeah, do some squiggles, see if that works. Standard dev way. <laughs> Try some if there's no error. Move on. If if there is, keep trying different things. And try stack exchange. All right. Hockey mark, are our props all written? They look pretty yes good. Or no. but, well, looks all right. I want a bit more um, definitive answer there. It's, yes. Um, yes, until it says error. Right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Remember, let's... we're computer people. We're talking binary here. Look, yeah. Mark says yes. Just keep going, John. Errors are your friends. <laughs> Pens are your friends as well, aren't they? Mm. What's the name of uh, League of Gentlemen? Pauline. <laughs> oh, Mickey Love. <laughs> that seems a long time ago. Right. That, John. What, did, what did we call this one? <clears throat> prop. Um... I don't think we've covered this, have we? I wasn't paying attention, so I terrible. wasn't wasn't paying attention to my own video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've missed it. We've missed it. Oh, it's been deleted. 
shit. This is where you need a split screen. You could just bang it across, couldn't you? You know what I mean? From left to right. Right. It looks like that doesn't need a uh, prop then. Photo. Is it photo dash grid? No. Star. Star. Anything that doesn't no, change, that you're all right. No. You just, leave, you just leave it as it was. So that might have been one of them. Nice. Yeah, we're getting every cells here. A bit error still. No error. We are cooking with gas. Move on. What was next? What was in that span? Was it country? Hmm. Gotta be. Oh no, from. I oh, know that's the. That's the price thing at the end. Let's have a look. Let's bring it up. USA there. So it goes rating. It's good in it the way you can reference everything there. Yeah, yeah. Pretty oh. impressive. They're both in grey. What's this 5.0 and what's that number? Uh, the first bit's rating then, isn't it? I don't know what the other bit is then, in brackets. I wasn't really paying attention when I did this one. Like I said, John, I'm a che dirty cheating developer. It's got to be rating, hasn't it? It's got to be. Yeah. Is there Ted growling at something? It's the fact that I didn't reply to him. <laughs> yeah, he's not happy. He's not happy. Is he? How many? How many his bad books are? He said that's rough. 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 <laughs> Ted's my dog, by the way. You don't Everybody's... want to mess with T dog, do you? Oh, you don't. Right. Wow! 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 Sorted. Wow. What was next? You count. What we'll do on the next video viewers is Mark will take control of the hot seat and you can see his coding in action. And you can all vote, see who's the best coder. <laughs> what, me against myself? <laughs> I'd still lose. See, see who's uh, the, uh, the most reckless coder. Mm. Yeah, copy and paste. That was review count next, wasn't it? Review count. Review count prop. Are you going to say you're a coder after doing all this stuff, John? Or you were just really still a designer? Are you? I'm many things, Mark. I'm a man of many, many talents. <laughs> I do not, perp I do not pigeonhole myself. Ah, I see. Free and easy with uh, with, with with mere yeah. labels. Stop trying to put me into a box. Is that what you're saying? Fair enough. Here we go. Yeah. Flying through this. Yeah, yeah, It's lightning. I have to say, when did he start? What, is it? It's not. Uh, who is it? Bob. When Bob did start talking about CSS, I did have to start skipping. Yeah, even I did. What did you? I think All I right. actually. I think I said something on the one of the previous vids. Right. Yes, I think you have. All right. That, that there's too much CSS in these yeah, bits. I'm trying to, I'm trying to take a bit of CSS. CSS, CSS, CSS. Try and take a bit of it in being a developer. Um, but that's not what I was trying yeah, to. I think learn. I think you need. Yeah, I think you need to actually. I've seen some of your CSS in a code bay, so you know, it's, I'd, I'd agree with you there. What that it's it's perfectly good for a couple of days before you see it and then thankfully get rid of it. <laughs> I, I made it so bad so you could find it, John. It was actually on purpose. That's... Made it bad and it keeps me in a job, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Giving you all, the... <laughs> Giving you all this bad code for you to sort out. That looks a bit shit, doesn't it? With my messing about there. Let's just put UK. We want... 
being the consummate professionals that we are, we want yeah, this let's, professional let's result, don't we? We are very professional. Let's not mess around putting Boris in and stuff. We're missing a dash there, aren't we? Delete it. Yeah. On there and all. No, it's not. Bugging me, that space. It's not going to put one in now. Yeah. See? Ah. What's oh, a dot? It's a dot. Ugh, it's quite boring, this. But Bob says you need to do these things, Mark. Uh, does he? Does he? Did he say that? Oh. It gets it into your muscle memory, just yeah. kind of doing repetitive things. That's, what, that's right, John. It's a fair point, isn't it? Yeah. I said that you were doing this properly, and I was doing this the way I always do things. Half fast. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. No, no, no. <laughs> I listen to most of what he says. I do get I do get a bit frustrated though with these kind of tasks. I was like, yeah, I know what I do with this. I know what I'm doing. But it is uh, it, no, it, it's good what he's going what he says. The way he's doing it. Don't diss yeah, don't yeah, we can't diss Bob. I'm not dissing Bob, no. Last one, price. The, um, currency in, is it? As we're from England, I think we should put our currency in and not dollars. What do you think? Brexit. Well, Bre oh, there, there isn't even a euro, a euro symbol on my keyboard. So, mm. hey, actually, this will be interesting. Well, that won't work. It's not going it? to that. It's not going to allow that, is it? Mm -hmm. Let's stick it on. <clears throat> You need code it. just bank. No, you, well, no, you can put that into your card, can't you? Just before the uh, oh, yeah. squiggle there, for the curly bracket. There you go. Pounds. So well, I think we've done it. Look at that. There you go, viewers. Yeah. A live coding experience with two crack shop developers mm. from the um, the industrial north, the northwest of England. Northern Monkey Development. There was actually a, uh, a web design company called Northern Monkey Web Design Ugh. near where I live. Oh, Should we see how Bob's done it? Well, we'll, we'll see Watch it. Bob. Go on. Go on then. Do it. All right, Bob. Props to put on one line. So I'm just going to start them on the next line. Speeding and we'll set the image <laughs> equal to this string. I'm going to copy and paste these just so I don't make a fool of myself making a typing error. The rating is going to be 5.0. Making a fool of himself. <laughs> oh, oh, Bob, don't Bob. be harsh on yourself. I know, a yeah, I love Bob. He's so nice, isn't now, he? This is a string right now. I suppose if we were ever planning on doing math on this rating, then it might be sensible to change it into a floating point number here by surrounding it with curly braces. Like floating point number? Floating point yeah. number. This is why we're here to pick up things like this. Yeah. Did you like that? Floating point number. Like that. I'm not going to be too concerned about it at this point. The review count, maybe just for good measure, and because I didn't put quotes around the six up here, I'll send in a number. The country will say USA, mostly because Katie Zephyrus is from the USA. For the title... We'll uh, once again copy this. And the price I'm going to send in as a number. We'll say 136. In this case, I don't think it makes a huge difference because I'm not going to be doing any math on this number probably, but what the heck, just for good practice. Okay, I can clean up this challenge, but I do need to now go to my card component. And the very first thing I should do is actually receive props here. 
And maybe just so I'm not flipping back and forth between the files to see which props I sent in, I'm going to console log the props so that I can see them down in my console. And oh, Mark. We didn't think of that. That's why he's there and we're here. That's it. Says it all, John. One little console log and... Your life improves exponentially. Could have cracked it, yeah. Oh, I like that. Mental note to self, Mark. Yeah. Console log your props. I'll write it down. Bob says. <laughs> Console log <laughs> your props. Yeah. Console log your props. And that will give me a chance to actually look at the properties that I sent in. Now, right away, we run into a little bit of a challenge. Like I mentioned, we're only passing in the file name and extension. We're not passing in the whole path. But I can't just do string concatenation, like saying dot dot slash images slash... Just pause it briefly. That's another word that does my head in. Oh, you like concatenation, John, don't you? No, I, I hate it. <laughs> Why can't we just say adding together? Could get it confused with math, maybe. Is it math or maths? Well, they say math, don't we? We say mm -hmm. math. We say math. But surely in the context, your you can, brain can work out the context of which you're saying it. Mm. So what would you say instead of concatenation then? Adding together. Adding to Putting together. Putting together, maybe, yeah. Shoving putting together. Two things, putting two things together. Gluing two things together. But, and I'd concatenate that phrase by saying concatenation. Mm. Anyway, we digress. We always do. And then plus my props dot image because this plus is not going to make sense. Now I could do that by surrounding this entire thing here in curly braces, but which is what we did. But I'm going to make use of the ES6 templating string syntax with these. Oh, I was just about to say template strings, honestly. Backticks. And that way I can put my dollar sign curly braces. Now this is probably starting to get confusing. Inside of a template string, I can insert values by using dollar sign curly braces. And that's where my prop. Why is he dicking around doing it like this? There's many ways you can do it, isn't there? This is a dicking around way though, surely. Do you not like this way? Uh, let's see it yeah, out. I quite Start. like the old image uh... will go. However, I can't just put back ticks surrounding everything here because that doesn't make sense in JSX. Now, this is the tricky part. If I surround the backticks because they are a JavaScript expression in curly braces, then suddenly this expression makes sense. I think this is probably the trickiest part of this challenge. I'm hoping it didn't frustrate anyone too much, but I totally understand if it did because it's a confusing back and forth. Remember, up here we're in JavaScript, then we jump into JSX, then with the curly braces we jump back into JavaScript, and that's why I can use my backticks Inside of JavaScript and inside template strings, I can use the dollar sign curly braces to insert JavaScript values into this string. I think it's called interpolation. I end my backtick and then I get out of JavaScript and I jump back into JSX. Hopefully you... Interpolation. There hey, we go. That, that is a good Another word one. though, John. I do like interpolation. What does it do mean? Like getting in between two things. Does it? Well, it does from mean? my yeah. point of view, because I've been in, using interpolation for a long, long time. Getting in between two things. It, it just means... Oh, God. It's very hard to describe when... I won't call that interpolation, but anyway, he did. Why Let didn't he just hard-code the path? Yeah, why didn't he just hard-code the path into the prop? You, you don't have to do all that messing about then, do you? Do you mean like the images bit? Why yeah. don't you just bang that in? Um, this is... He's assuming his images are coming from the same place, I suppose. Right, okay. There's loads of different ways, isn't there? He kind of went with uh, Yeah. Uh, I suppose there will be a use case for this, so it's good, good that he's explained that, I guess. Yeah. That, the, um, the dollar thing's good with the... Uh, Template strings. Yeah, do like those. Did you know? Did you know about that? I did. Uh, yes. I did. I've used them for many a time, John. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's better like than it. concatenating strings together, isn't it? Concatenating stuff, miles easier. Mm. Concatenation. You could follow all that. I understand if that's confusing. 
The rest of this should be really pretty straightforward. My rating is right here. Instead of putting a hard-coded 5.0, I can put my curly braces props.rating instead of my six. And I'm actually going to just put in my curly braces inside of my parentheses here. I'm going to put props.review count. Again, the parenthesis is still part of JSX and therefore will be interpreted as text. The curly brace gets me into JavaScript, which is why I can then put my JavaScript value and then I get out of JavaScript and I have my second parentheses to surround it. My country, I can put props.country. In this paragraph, we'll put props.title. And right here for the number, I'm gonna leave the dollar sign because I still want that to exist. However, the price that I'm passing in is just the number 136. So I will put props.price. Okay, moment of truth. Let me get us a little extra working room here. I'll hit refresh and awesome. Everything looks like it is still working the same. Now it does kind of look like we don't have this space showing up after our dot, but we won't be too concerned about that right now. Okay, last thing I'm gonna- Oh, we were concerned about that. Well, I was. I was concerned about it. Me and Bob are peas in a pod. I don't know if we can continue without sorting that out. <laughs> <laughs> Clean up my console log up here. And excellent, we now have a reusable component as long as every time I create an instance of my card, I pass in these props, I should be able to get different cards showing up in my list. Really great work. If you were able to follow along with this entire lesson, I really hope that this has been helpful. And hopefully you are just as excited as I am to learn this because this is giving us more tools in our tool belt, more power for us to create really awesome web applications in React. We obviously have a lot more to learn, but really at this point, you should be really excited for everything that you've learned, especially if you're understanding it. If you are feeling lost, of course, as always, go back, revisit these, and ask lots of questions in Discord. Coming up, we're going to be addressing that issue where currently we are still hard coding this data into our code here. And so that's the next topic we're going to tackle. Mm. Mm. So I am actually excited about finding finding out about these dynamic values. I know you've yeah. jumped ahead, haven't you? So you know I what's have, coming. Yeah, I, I was so excited. I had to just keep going, John. <laughs> I, I, know, uh, I know it sounds like I've just been sarky all the time, but I actually was generally quite excited after this one. Yeah. It's kind as of... As, the, yeah. The, the whole point of React is now coming clear, I yeah. think, as soon as that dynamic data, dynamic prop... Once you start data, using that card multiple times, then you'll see the point of it. Like, yeah. Like Bob says. And then I think I have gone. And then you just start well, then I just started messing around with other stuff because I could I was interested to know what I could bend that uh, sample to do. But um Yeah. yeah. Well, but it it's good. It's good. I know we're being a bit psychic with Bob there. We do love him though. I think it's Ultimate a good course. Meetup. I think we should uh, go to uh, go to America. Do you think so? Go to the US and A to a meetup. Yeah. I think he's going to be disappointed by what he's going to get sent across in the UK. He might, uh, he might draw. He might draw. Watch these videos and say they're taking the piss out of me yeah, and shoot us up. Who's taking? Like who's taking do. the piss? You know, Bob's there with his thousands of episodes, and we're here. But we're here just criticizing. We're not criticizing. <laughs> no, it's not, quality, no. that. It is good. Yeah. I've learned a lot since I've uh, started I have. doing that. So I'm at the end of that project, but not the same. I have been doing no, Mark, are you going to join us on the next? Are you going to join us on the next episode then, which will be review array map? It doesn't really give much away that, does it? Uh, it's quite an interesting one, that. How is it? This right, is like we'll talking to somebody. Then. This is like talking to somebody who's watched the end of Obi Wan, and they're, they're basically saying, "Oh, we've seen the last one. We've seen what happens." I've not, I've not watched that yet. I've watched the Mandalorian though. Oh, you, you the should watch the Mandalorian. It's, it's good, Obi Wan. I quite, I'm not a, a, a massive Disney fan, but I thought it's pretty good. Nothing to do with reactors at all, as well. <laughs> but uh, which makes yeah, it can good. do. Well, right, uh, viewers, thanks for joining yeah. us. Thanks, Mark, for coming on. Um, watch out on the channel for Review Array Map. I cannot mm. wait. See you in a bit.